All right, we're taking down Inspired. I try to anyway. I feel like we're starting to get back into the groove of the game now. I feel like now we've got some more crazy monster ass shit going on that was in the spirit of the other fights. That rest of that shit was just some marketing bullshit. Some guy come up saying like, nope, we've got to have five more levels in this game. We gotta do something new we've and done innovative. Marketing research and gamers need to have a minimum of 15 levels and multiplayer, or they will not reach the sales projection. Ooh, a counter. Oh, uh, hello. Okay. Um, a riding vagina punch. In the face first in the ground. It actually did quite a lot of damage to him. Flying snake dragon. Vulnerable to uh, vagina punches. Their one weakness. You know. It's how Smog will be taken down in the uh, Hobbit movie coming up. If they say true to the book, of course. Uh, here's the uh, climax. Getting my button mashing right of here. Hi, bird. Oh, there we go. All right. Max Climax. Had to had to really work it for that one. Climaximum. <laughs> <laughs> and now let's shit his head out. On somebody's car. Because we're a bird, and that's what we do. A hair bird. Demon hair bird. And he was just a mini boss. He was just a, a block the way boss. Wait, what was that? Grab? Yeah, something I can grab. Uh, it might have but... been like a, uh, another... I don't know if the ravens are collectible or holding something. Oh, yeah, I think the ravens are collectible. But I missed him. Oh, we have a save point. Oh, gates of hell. Not work. What did we unlock? Some witty banter. Yeah. Amazing dialogue. Another LP? <laughs> Working me to the bone. But no need to pity me. I was bored anyways. Let me go whip some things into shape for you. Those aren't quite double entendres. Those are like 1.5 entendre. Right. They're mildly lewd sayings uh, on their way to uh, becoming double entendre. Took a bit of pound into shape, but the workmanship solid. Now, go put this. Oh, this looks interesting. Durgan. Guess you got a weapon, huh? No, mm -hmm. no, Durga alt. But she can't see what the alts are. I may already have it. Okay. Um. Well, we got one of these, huh? Harping for witches. I'd like to know what this costume is. I love chicks. Maybe that's the costume there. No, I think that's just a sign that says I love chicks. Enjoy it. What if that's actually a t-shirt you can get? It should be if it's not. I'm gonna keep saving my money. Buy the real OP stuff later on. Okay, well I'm still fucked. Yeah, hell didn't do anything for your health. Seldom does. Oop, there's a chest of chest back that way. 
There, there is. Broken with charge. It's like Zelda with a badass. No, oh, great. So this guy's just hanging out, and I'm dead because <laughs> I was already fucked. Because game. Yeah. I'm not complaining. It's no, no. I'm glad we got past him the first time. So. Oh, well, that's a little shitty. It's not that bad. I just have to climb the platforms again. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, it wouldn't hurt them to have put a checkpoint at the top. I suppose. It's not like there's any difficulty to this. That... Yeah, I have to go through this nonsense again, but... Oh, there's a bullet, right? Or, or a lipstick or something. Uh, that is a, that's another bullet for this shitty uh, angel shooting game. Tougher or just not giving it an opportunity for that riding attack? I don't know. It's... Yeah, the first time it was like, oh hey, here's uh, here's Half Life. Enjoy that. And I find him at long range because it doesn't seem to have a very good set of projectiles. I think he did. Yeah. I collect those rings. I go fast. It would be hilarious if you got hit and they knocked out of your couple <laughs> rings. I'm surprised that they haven't done that yet. All right, that's a pretty interesting character. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure I've seen that in an episode of uh, Evangelion. You were mentioning something on the podcast last night about a new Evangelion coming or something. Uh, yeah, that one came out just recently uh, in Japan, 3.0. Like that, a whole series or just a movie? They well, okay, they've been doing a series of movies. Now, originally they were saying, oh, these are going to be remakes of the original show. They are not. The first two follow episodes from the show, but the second one goes off on a divergent timeline, and the third one is just fucked up. The only ones meddling are your hapless minions. They're worth watching, but, you know, like, like I said, when you get to that third one, you're going to be wondering what the hell's going on. And there's no way, there's no way to criticize or judge it until the last movie comes out. Because there are so many questions unanswered that it'll either be brilliant or terrible. So but, it's Evangelion. Uh, I was about to say, either way, is the most Evangelion thing to have happened since in the Evangelion. And don't you dare say my long lost sister. No, I'm your mother. Sister, you've quite the active imagination. You and I once fought for the jewel upon the crown of the Umbra throne. And now that you've returned, 
It is time to finish that fight. So why did you like assist us the first couple times? No time for daydreaming. Got bullet time from the people that made the, the new Xbox One exclusive. <laughs> uh, Twitch time here for uh, trademark copyright reasons. Oh, sorry. Although it seems like with Witch Blade, that would also be infringing. You would think. So it's a witch moment. Witch time. <laughs> that time. This time. The cool fight, can I join? Yeah, I was just thinking, I'm like, you know, this is supposed to be a badass moment. At least, like, I don't care if you don't get to finish it, at least get a few hits in. Right. But now we're gonna join forces and fight the, uh, the, the Evangelion Angel before, uh, Unit Zero throws, uh, into mine at it. And me without my motorcycle. Oh, damn. My ass is as tight as yours. But can you fight? There we go. Oh. I'm gonna say that, that you're just gonna knock to an event because you're beating her down pretty fast. Yeah. Well, it does look like she's got a double life bar, I guess, is what that is. Yeah, but... Just be ready for a QT. Yeah. There's gonna be at some moment a dickish QTE. I'm always ready for a QTE with this game. Wow. Oh, she did the uh, leg move back to you. Yeah. The Hello Iron Car. Oh, that's a cool move. I didn't even know I had that. What kind of deodorant would you use? I'm thinking my standard, you know, Gillette is he's gonna melt. <laughs> he's definitely going with a solid, not a gel. Definitely. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna skip this shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Has blocking, has blocking been significant at all in this game? It's, it's not so much blocking as it is dodging. Alright. As a developer, as a game designer, I would love to see how they did the level formats on this game, you know? Because they had to have a system. So that they could go in and like, no, 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 I need to put a scripted event right here, and I need this to collide with that, this to go to here, and then I need you to land here, and this now is the plane that you fight in. I have, bitch. Wow, right back at you. Oh, there you go. Okay. You clenched it at the end there. I should have brushed up on my uh, fighting game commentary. Had some phrases to throw out there. I'll, I'll send you some links to some videos later. You can you can get some terminology down. Afraid? Me? I have a giant beehive. Why would I be afraid? Have you seen my outfit and my hair? I'm not afraid of shit. All right, when we come back, we'll find out what they're afraid of. <laughs>